Eastlanders. So, I gotta warn you before, um, if you're squeamish, you don't want to watch this. I just thought I would, uh, show, uh, my foot, my foot injury because it's come a long way. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the picture, um, of my foot in a little bit before I get started of the, the, the day, the day after the surgery. And so you can see the original, uh, wound and stuff. So I gotta say, I'm, I'm gonna just warn you, it's pretty graphic. Um, well, some people will, they love graphic stuff, but um, I didn't like my foot, you know, the day after the surgery. I'm gonna show this picture right now, and I'm going to like give you a five, or a five count to uh, stop now, one, two three four five presto okay if you survived that picture welcome back and i'm going to undo this bandage and i have to clean the wound i i i, I may cut this part out and just show you the bandage of the wound maybe I'll fast forward through the cleaning because it's I always have to clean this shit off this is called the idoflex and it's kind of a iodine something uh, other it's kind of clay material and I have to put this in the wound and it helps to breed the wound so Underneath this bandage will be like a lot of soupy goopy shit that comes from the foot and Idoflex is they they it usually is red and it turns white and shitty or goopy So this helps clean the wound I'll show you that and then um, yeah I usually have to wrap the wound uh, really tight and tape it up I'll show you all the stuff that I use. Alright. So, you can see it leaked a little bit through. Yeah. So this is, this is called, oh, I'll have to like go and grab some of this. I didn't, this gauze. Let me pause the video. Okay, I'm back. So <laughs> you can see all this gross stuff. This is that Idoflex. It kind of breaks down and it pulls all the bad material out of the foot. It's kind of gross. Some of you may be puking right now. <laughs> so this is the foot. And if you saw the picture, you can see the wounds heal a lot like you can this was all open at one time very much smaller there's got a little like the callus on the, the this hard skin on the bottom you can see this round area this is probably round area will um, heal last it, it's kind of like I call that it used to look like a vagina to me <laughs> but this this white part this this is skin it's always macerated but it's continuing to grow and cover this wound so so I have I, I usually use a, a wound cleanser it's kind of a I, I imagine it's mostly saline or something I don't know if it's has a little bit extra in there so I spray oh damn it I, I forgot my cleaning cloth now I just had to pause it again okay I'm back so I have compression sponges to clean 
the wound and I had to walk across the floor and try to balance and not put my floor on the, the carpet or my foot on the carpet so I usually soak these up and use these to cleanse the wound wipe off all these all this crap you can see it's usually much worse but for some reason it's not too not too dirty uh, I think most of the goop and clay came off in the came off in the bandage this time around so I've, I've seen a lot it. dirtier it's not bad a lot bloodier too Let me let me get under the foot. I usually have to put this cream on there around the wound first. It's uh, to protect the macerated skin, and I use I just use my finger. I don't. I have some gloves, but. <laughs> It's just easier to like do it this way and I just wipe off. I'm kind of desensitized to my own wound by now. I've dealt with it for so many months. I'm really desensitized to it. <laughs> I can touch it and it doesn't bother me. It used to it used to bother me. It was so gross especially after the surgery yeah scooting across the floor i probably picked up like a stray cat hair even though i vacuumed there's i have lived with two i live with two cats and there's so much or oh this is it was not in the wound it was like a stray cat hair on so I, I walked uh, on my heel, so I had a stray cat hair on my heel. <laughs> Gross. Okay, so I protect the skin all the way around the wound with this uh, thing. It's called <laughs> Extra Protective Cream. So I'm going to next put on this uh, Idoflex, and I'll show you what that looks like. I have a garbage bag right underneath me to catch all this crap. So the Idoflex comes like with this this kind of a material over it to, to it's like a clay material, and you can see, but it's made from iodine and what have you, and I me. Mean, So I start by tearing it in half or cutting it in half, whichever. And I'm going to put one half of the material over here. It's very flexible and it, it will break up and I'll put like down below first. So sometimes I wet the skin, but it's, pr it's pretty wet right now anyway. You can see I, I place it in the wound and then um, I, I take this other part and uh, do the top half and so I just start spreading it out all right I get the white stuff on there sometimes. All right, so I pretty much got it covered. And it'll, it will stick and it will seep into the wound and uh, debride it. And uh, it will keep it like uh, from getting infected. It fights infection too. So let me, uh, okay. 
This is a piece of super absorbent uh, material. It's called Quick. And I cut it. It comes in a, a big sheet and I cut it in to three sections like this. The blue side goes away from the wound. The white side goes on top of the wound. So I basically put it like this. This, this is a super absorbent that catches all this crap. And this is what I, it's called OptiLock. And I call it the diaper. Because <laughs> it's really, really quite large. And I have a smaller version. But I like the larger version because uh, it, it wraps all the way around the foot. And it prevents like a lot of bleed through like you saw i had a little bit bleed through on this uh, gauze so it's a, a bigger one you can they told me to uh, always like wad it up it just it's better to like uh fit through wrap it around the skin so and then i just take it and wrap it around the foot so you can I just hold it here and oh let me let me get this other material out. So this is the gauze gauze bandage roll. They have a name for it, but I can't, I can't remember it. Um, but I I use it to wrap the wrap the final room oh uh, wound the final stage of the wound wrapping process the dressing so I just usually hold it here and work it around I could tape this but I don't I'm pretty good at holding it and wrapping it and then eventually closing it so So, you can see I go around the ankle at least twice, and then I continue wrapping it. And I want to, I want to like go at least around the, the front and the back or the heel twice, just, just in case to... So when I end up with something like this, I can't see, I'll usually come back up and fold it like this and so I, I can see it to tape it. So here's my tape. It's kind of a all the medical supplies I have, they, they're supplied by a nurse that comes once a week, usually on Wednesday. They used to come three times a week because I, I had a wound vac and uh, I don't have a picture of the wound vac, um, but I, I, I think I've seen, did a picture on Instagram, but I don't have the wound vac anymore, so I can't show you what that looks like. But it, it usually, they would saran, <laughs> I, I think it would, they would saran wrap my foot, plug a hose into it, and it would suck all the shit through the hose into a, a canister. And if I still have a picture of the canister, I'll pop up, pop that up now. But it looked, I always called that uh, making jam <laughs> or making coffee because... It used to make a noise like making coffee, but it, it looked like jam, um, like jelly. Yeah, so I have to, but the wound clinic took me off of that maybe three weeks ago. And wanted me to do this process, so that, like I just shown. For the remainder 
for now. I'll go to the wound clinic in maybe a week or two. And maybe they'll have a, a new process because, but basically my foot is healing better with this uh, new process. So I think the wound clinic or the doctor made a, a, a good call because I really was getting tired of that wound back. It always, I had to get it changed every two weeks or so. Not, no, two weeks, sorry. Every two days. And um, it would always, like, come loose eventually. Because I don't, I'm 100% bed rest, but I still have to walk to the bathroom and the kitchen to get something to eat to, or to go to the bathroom. So it eventually would just, where it was located, it would come loose on the bottom and I would have to repair it all the time and uh, it just got irritating so repairing it and um, constantly I, I really didn't like it I had to walk around with a cable and I would get it, get it snagged and it was just impossible to walk with it <laughs> so I was glad to see it go Anyway, it did most of the healing of my foot. Months and months of healing. So, it did its uh, purpose and it was good, but it hated it. So, my, you see my, I have my foot all wrapped up and I have to do this every day. I usually do this at 2 o'clock every day. 2, 2 p.m. every day. Um, that was just based on when I first did it. It was 2 p.m. So every 24 hours and so the final stage I have these tubi grips I think it's they're called tubi grips it's basically a compression sock but it's a compression thought there's a, a smaller one in length I put on this foot and then there's a, a bigger one that I put on this foot and reach up uh, reaches up to my knee so uh, I'll try to show that on camera but well I mean you probably can imagine it I don't have to show it on the camera but I'll, I'll do it so I have a box of these or like a long box of tubi grip and I just met I, I just measure it out and cut it off So it's not really a sock because it has a hole on both ends because it, it gets cut off. Yeah, so they don't want me using, um, what do you call it, ace bandages? Because ace bandages are bad. They can, they, they grip, they cut, cut off the circulation and they didn't. They don't do a good job so you can see this this um, is more a, a, an even compression through the whole foot and this uh, this holds this uh, band is really tight and um, allows this uh, idoflex to seep into the wound and not go anywhere other than where I placed it so this is this has two absorbs absorb absorption layers you can see that uh i use that two absorption layers i use that i forgot the name of it but it was a, a super absorber strip and then i use that basically a diaper to cover it and both of those they're super i mean i want to say they're super absorbing but you can see sometimes they'll, they'll still leak through and that's only 24 hours uh, some material will leak through you know <laughs> i don't know if they, what the words they use so um all right so this is the final sock 
it stretches. I'm, I may have cut it a little bit short because it usually it usually goes up just under the the knee or this usually goes up to here but I could probably cut it a little bit short it's, it's not bad and, and sometimes I'll reuse these um, these compression tubies um, I probably will we'll reuse these like three or four times unless they get really grody um, because I, I don't really like to like cut them off and I like to uh, make it so quick I, I I'm always I'm taking longer than I usually I I can uh, change this bandage in this less than maybe three minutes so um, when I do it from my end of the bed uh, you've probably seen my uh, medicine table <laughs> I have this all this shit located here in in a box and all along the table and I have some syringes and all kinds of stuff and you can see the idoflex and then there's a like a that strip that goes in between the diaper and the, the on top of the idoflex but yeah so I usually do it from there and it's much quicker so and you can see where the bump is that's basically where the wound is um, that round part that I called the vagina <laughs> that's the bump I don't know if uh, that bump will ever go away um, because my foot is probably always going to be a little deformed um, they had to cut so much out of my foot no I don't they they had to remove a lot of uh, material that like supported the arch and stuff and I'll probably have to wear um, what do you call it some kind of a strap to f reform the art the support the arch that's no longer there and help me walk and uh, straighten my foot um, because my foot will go my foot will go sideways um, without some support so uh, at least I have my foot still that's the, the most important thing all right this video is going to run really long if you're still here I commend you so um, I'm gonna let you guys go and um, thanks for watching take care